In one of the bloodiest days of the uprising so far, activists stated pro-government, militiamen and security forces have killed at least 78 people. 40 of the victims were women and children who had been stabbed and shot at close range from the village of Kwabir in the Hama region. 12 of the bodies were partially hidden and burned. However, the Syrian government have denied responsibility, stating that terrorists had carried out the killings. This amateur footage posted on the internet cannot be verified and contains some graphic images. Babies and children lie side by side, some uncovered, uncovered, others under blankets. Two men in close-up show one with a blackened, damaged face and another whose face has been blown away after gunfire. All of the injuries are consistent with close combat injuries. These latest killings come less than two weeks after a massacre in the Syrian town of Hula, where Syrian government troops massacred 108 people, nearly half of them children. Both massacres have happened in the presence of United Nations observers, a 300-strong force sent into Syria to observe a ceasefire deal brokered by the international envoy Kofi Annan. I am Anne Salter, thanks for watching. For the latest news and updates throughout the day, follow me on our website at ibtimes.co.uk.